What is good everybody, Nathan Lombardo here with Lambo Media here at Legends Performance and Wellness here in Tempe, Arizona. And here just to my left is Nick Heath. <laughs> For the Kansas City Royals outfielder. Uh, back in 2019, Nick, you had the capability of playing overseas back in the DR. What was that whole experience like? And, you know, what was that atmosphere like? And then the adjustment when transitioning, you know, from playing there professionally and then, you know, here in America, you know, playing in the MLB professionally, starting it off with the skill set was. Man, that's a tough question. I went down there uh, kind of on a limb. You know, my team told me they wanted me to go down there and see some competition. Right. Uh, that was going to be the closest thing I got to big league ball uh -huh. uh, without necessarily being in the big league. So uh, I went down there, man, had a really, really good time. Yeah. Kind of showed out a little bit and got the opportunity, you know, to meet a lot of fans, to kind of, right. you know, visit another country and see what, you know, they were about down there. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that was a really, really fun experience. Uh, and then coming back here to America, and getting ready to play again, yeah. man, it made me really, really appreciate baseball yeah. to see how passionate people were about the game down there, to see, you know, how much it meant to the culture, how much it meant to the people playing it. So I got to come back here and it made, you know, appreciate my job here a lot easier. Yeah. And, you know, it kind of gave me a perspective on, you know, Absolutely. there's definitely somebody out there who wants what I have right. probably more than I do. Yeah. So uh, that kind of just put an extra little chip on my shoulder and made me want to work a little bit harder. Yeah, most definitely. And on Instagram, you posted a picture of you walking towards a dugout. It looked like you were a living legend uh, down in the DR. What was that atmosphere like? Because obviously there's a ton of diehard fans in the stands, you know, cheering you on. What was that atmosphere like and adrenaline rush, you know, throughout the games? Uh, man, that was crazy. That was the first time I've ever really been in the stadium and, you know, something happened and I wasn't really able to hear myself, you right. know, like communicate with That's somebody great. else. Yeah. So, uh, man, going down there and, and seeing that, uh, and, that, and that picture you're talking about, yeah. we just so happened to be playing our rivals uh, and it was kind of getting close to us going to the playoffs and it was a walk-off walk. So okay. uh, you're seeing me throw my helmet <laughs> down. And it was, man, after that, dog, it was, the, the experience is really, really cool, man. I can't necessarily describe, you know, the emotion behind it, yeah. but being able to play out there and being able to be around those guys, right. um, like I said, man, it makes me appreciate the game even more. And seeing the fans, you know, you walk down the street and they notice you. Yeah. Uh, being minor leaguer here in America, right. you know, people probably don't recognize yeah. your face. So going down there and kind of seeing, you know, what it's like to, you know, have people really, really, you know, invested in what you're doing mm -hmm. and what your team is doing, man, that's yeah. really, really awesome. So uh, that experience is second to none. Yeah, and I want to talk a little bit about your drip. You got some drip on the field. Oh, I want to talk on, to you about your favorite uni um, on the field for the Kansas City Royals. Is it that KC throwback jersey? Easily the Monarchs uniform. <laughs> right? Your uniform is so clean. Right? Uh, no, nah, man, to be honest with you, I'm really, really a big fan of the baby blues. Yeah, That's probably my really favorite, clean. but that Monarchs uniform, uh, man, I don't know. It kind of just meant a little bit more. Right. Uh, me kind of getting in this position and being able to not only represent myself, mm -hmm. but other black kids, other black kids in baseball. Right. Uh, man, that's, that's, that's huge. And then getting to wear those uniforms and kind of understanding the history behind it mm -hmm. and not even know, necessarily knowing all of the history, but getting able to, you know, brush up on some of it and then learn more myself as those uniforms are presented to us, man. That's, right. that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. And I want to start off with the on-field. Who would you say has the most on-field drip for the Royals? Is it you? Ah, oh, dang. I can't <laughs> say that. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Uh, I don't know, man. We got some guys who kind of come out with some nice stuff. Nikki always has a pair of nice cleats on them. Right. You know, some guys always come out with the clean arm sleeves. Yeah, some yeah. guys always come out with something different, a fresh glove, yeah. you know, some new glasses. So that's tough, man. I can't necessarily say I got you it. Wanna say you. I you want to say it's you. I want to say it's you. me. Yeah, I want to yeah. say it's me, but I can't necessarily say that, man, because, you know, we got a few guys who come out there and right. I kind of look and I'm like, all right, dog, right. I see what cleats you got yeah, on. Yeah, just I out might, of nowhere. I might go just home and Google nowhere. what yeah. those are, but, you know, man, it's cool. Uh, I'm going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> but we got some guys out there who should know how to, you know, right. who, who know how to represent themselves and who know how to carry themselves on the field. So I think that's huge, too. Okay, what about off field? Is is it is it kind of are you kind of in the same tough. boat? That's tough. That's because some of the guys I don't necessarily get to see away from the field as uh, you know as much as I would like to. But uh, man, I'm real like I'm real retro stuff. I'm real like big t-shirts, short shorts, right, yeah. like boys in the hood t-shirts, yeah. some you know, '93 Bulls stuff Absolutely. like that. So I'm wearing stuff you know way back when, and yeah. you know stuff that was in my parents' closet. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool, yeah, this might yeah. fit. Or let me see if I can find this shirt online. So uh -huh. man, I'm real big into like throwback stuff. As you can see, I'm wearing a bucket hat. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just I always got something different going on. You know, right. whatever I can, whatever I can try to pull off, I'm gonna try to pull it off. Right. And I, I asked Scott this uh, a little bit earlier. I uh, hear our Legends Performance and Wellness here in Tempe. Make sure you guys check them out if you haven't already. But what would you say is your most memorable moment thus far in your baseball career? It can be, you know, either in the DR. Is it that? Is it that walk off walk or? You know, what, what moment was that? All right, so my most memorable is probably that walk-off walk. Okay. But the moment that really, really means the most to me, man, was making my debut this year right. uh, in Detroit. Huge. 
that was awesome. Uh, obviously, we didn't have a ton of fans. Mm -hmm. or we didn't have any fans, really. Yeah. So um, that was that was cool, man, just to go out there and walk out and be like, yo, Miggy's right over here yeah, in the other dugout. Crazy. Guys, you're watching on TV. Yep. You know, I'm finally, you know, with Salvi and Witt mm -hmm. and Solaire and yeah. Duffy and all Absolutely. these guys who just won a World Series a couple years ago. So getting the opportunity to go out there and be on the same field as him, man, it kind of is really, really eye-opening. You know what I mean? To right. let you know that you're kind of finally on that stage. Uh, that you got the ability to do what it takes to go out here and play every day, yeah. regardless of whether you think you do or not. Uh -huh. And man, that's just, that's that's big. So my most memorable moment is definitely down in the DR, yeah. but the one that the one that means the most to me, the one that I'm most passionate about is making my debut this year. Yeah, absolutely, Nick, that's awesome. Well, congrats on all of those accolades. And to wrap it up, I started something new with Lambo Media somewhat recently, uh, where I do in some of my interviews. Uh, I have my interviewee nominate someone else to do an interview with me. So, you know, Nick, who's that guy? Let me see. Hmm. You really, really going to like Taylor Hearn. Okay. okay. Pitcher for the Rangers. All That's right. my yeah. man. He's yeah. funny. He's real cool, laid right. back. Uh, he's a goofball. Okay. So when you <laughs> when you get the chance to talk right, to bet. him, crack a couple jokes at yeah. him, and he'll throw him right back to you. But all that's right, my sweet. man. I love the kid to death. Absolutely. Well, Nick, congrats on all the accolades. Like I just mentioned uh, thus far, there's definitely more to come in the future, and best of luck. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Nick. Yes, sir.